Thank you for joining us for worship. This weekend's worship online is a little bit different. In-person worship this weekend features our Farewell Sunday for Dr. Mark Summers. We thank Mark for his service to the congregation from 2008 to 2021. And after worship, we are holding a farewell celebration and lunch in the gym. If you're not able to attend, please consider sending a card or a contribution for a farewell gift to Mark that can be sent to the church and then sent on to Mark. If you're watching live, I encourage you to come back to our YouTube page to watch Mark's message after it's been uploaded sometime Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. Now as we worship, may the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Invited when Jesus bids us dine, his friends on earth united to share the bread and wine. The bread of life is broken, the wine is freely poured for us in solemn token of Christ our dying Lord. for sharing one single fruit for vine by fellowship declaring renewed in bread and wine renewed, sustained and given by token, sign and word the pledge and seal of heaven the love of Let us go before the throne of glory as we pray to God together. Will you bow your heads in prayer? Almighty God, today we come together to worship you as we celebrate the ministry here at DeWitt Community Church. We thank you that we can come together to raise our voices and our prayers and our thanksgiving to you. Today, we are especially thankful to be able to celebrate the ministry of Reverend Dr. Mark Summers. We thank you for his faithfulness as a minister of the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for his years of service here at DCC, which has inspired us and helped us to grow closer to you. We know that you have blessed him and we ask that you continue to bless him in his retirement. Grant to him and to all those who serve your flock throughout the world, the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Heavenly God, you are the joy of our lives and the one who fortifies us with strength. In the midst of change, we look to you to be our constant. Help us when we face uncertainty. Carry us in our human weaknesses and assure us that you are our shield when adversity comes upon us. Help us today to cling to the realization that we are not alone because we belong to you, O God, the great lover of our souls. We thank you for adopting us into your family and claiming us as your beloved children. We are a holy priesthood, a called out nation, a peculiar people who have the task of reflecting your glory to the world. When we shine your light into the world, we might look different or stand out in the crowd, but as people that seek to love and serve you, we can no longer seek merely to fit in. Knowing that you are ours and that we are your special treasure requires us to follow your will and your ways as the highest priority in our lives. Holy One, open us up to your word and your ways. Clear our mind of daily distractions and fill our hearts with the humility we need to hear and receive the message you intend for us today and every day. Help us carry the stress and strain of these days which weigh heavy on our hearts and minds. And as we move into the fall and as the days grow shorter, we are more in need of your hope than ever. Set our eyes on you and remind us of your power as we admire this universe plotted and patterned by your hands. 
be with us in the small struggles as well as the great, and transform us so we can be transformational in love and service to your people. Today we raise before your throne of glory all those who need a healing touch. We're mindful of Hugh and Connie, Jenny and Donald, Lori and Patty, Melissa, Joanne, Louise, Owen, Charlie, Phil, Glenda, Craig, Juliana, Betty, Pat, Terry, Rochelle, and Beverly. We ask you to take away their pain, to heal their bodies, to give them comfort of mind, and to embrace them with the comfort that only comes from you. And now we take a moment in silence to put before our own prayers before the throne of glory. Creator God, you are our refuge, our comfort, and our strength in good times and bad. Compassionate God, look upon us with mercy and grace and free our minds from prejudice and our preference towards peace over violence. Grant us the wisdom and humility to seek your way above all worldly ways so our path may be righteous and true and guide us in all good things. As people of faith, we lift these prayers to you, trusting you hear us and receive them. And finally now, we turn to you, saying the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As I mentioned earlier, this Sunday is a little bit different for online worship. Please check back Monday or Tuesday on Facebook or on our YouTube page for Dr. Mark Summers' message. I also want to take this opportunity to invite you to several ministry events and things that are occurring in the life of our church here at DeWitt Community Church. Throughout the month of November, we as a congregation are focusing on Christian stewardship of our resources. I'm thankful that I serve a generous church that seeks to give abundantly of its time, its talents, and financial resources. Next Sunday, November 21st, is Stewardship Sunday. This is the Sunday where we ask our members and friends of our congregation to submit an estimate of giving. These estimates of giving cards are confidential cards and information, and they help us plan for ministry in the upcoming year. Estimates of giving provides us with a sense of how we can explore new ministries and fund our mission to our church and our community based on the congregation's giving. You can also submit your estimates of giving on our website, dewittchurch.org, and you can click on Estimate of Giving. I pray that You'll join my family and me in committing to giving and filling out an estimate of giving card. 
Following the 11 o'clock service on November 21st, we invite you to join us as we assemble over 60 Thanksgiving boxes for families in our community. Children, youth, and adults can join in in assembling these meals. We'll provide a light lunch for everyone who participates. And if you think you'll join us, uh, please RSVP letting us know the church office. You can call or email to let us know that you're coming. Also on November 21st, I'm starting a new preaching series, Almost Christmas at 10 a.m. in room six, in person and online as well. In this study, we'll utilize a video resource of diverse voices talking about how do we as Christians seek to find hope, love, peace, and joy during this holiday season in our complex and changing world. And this four-week study is, as I mentioned, at 10 a.m. in room six. And I hope that you'll join us starting on November 21st. And it's also important to note that we will not meet on November 28th, but we will meet on December 5th, 12th, and 19th. I know that many of you have enjoyed our online worship during the pandemic. Our staff and ministers have worked diligently to provide a quality worship experience here in Miller Commons. And if you've walked through here and you've seen this place, uh, you would know that it's turned into its own studio. But in the coming weeks, we will shift to an online streaming service from the sanctuary at 11 a.m. This will enable for a seamless experience and will allow for worship and funerals and weddings and other events in the sanctuary to be live streamed. Things will look a little bit different as you experience worship in real time as it happens in the sanctuary. And as the pandemic lessens, we hope that you'll consider joining us for worship in person. Finally, as I look back on almost one year as your senior minister, I can say that we as a, as a church, as a people, as a culture, have been through unprecedented change. We, we look to those moments in Scripture when people have gone through new paths and journeys, and we read that God was always there. Whether it was Noah navigating the floodwaters, Moses leading the people through the wilderness, David leading the charge against Goliath, or the apostles guiding the new movement of Christians in the first century, we know God was there. When people hold fast together, we as Christians can do amazing things with God's power. So let us continue as God's people here at DeWitt Community Church to continue to journey together through this unprecedented change that has occurred. Hebrews 10, 23 through 25 tells us, let us hold on to the confession of our hope without wavering because the one who made promises is reliable. And let us consider each other carefully for the purpose of sparking love and good deeds. Do not stop meeting together with other believers, which some people have gotten into the habit of doing. Instead, encourage each other, especially as you see the day drawing near. Throughout this pandemic, we've continued to meet in person, online. We don't know what tomorrow will bring, but we do know this, that God is with us no matter what. Even when we think God's not there, God is there. Let us not forget what makes our church remarkable, our commitment to each other as believers and our community. May you, upon these upcoming seasons of Thanksgiving, Advent, and even Christmas, renew your commitment to our church and God through the spiritual work of service, worship, study, prayer, and fellowship. Let us continue to be God's people as DeWitt Community Church. Let us pray. God, as we look on our journey throughout our life and the journey that we've been on as a church, 
that God, for hundreds of years, DeWitt Community Church has existed to serve this community, its people, to serve its members and friends. God, may we, as we look to the upcoming year, as we think about our stewardship, as we think about all of our life, our time, our talents, our financial resources, that God, we may look to you and be able to be generous through our church, serving not only the community, but serving one another as your people. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. As we gather at your table, as we listen to your word, help us know, O oh God, your presence, let our hearts and minds be stirred. Nourish us with sacred story till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy banquet how to make love's victory known. Gracious Spirit, help us summon other guests to share that feast. We're triumphant, love will welcome those who have been last and least. There no more will envy bind us, nor will pride our peace destroy. As we join with saints and angels to repeat the sounding joy. Depart now in the fellowship of God the Father, and as you go, remember... In the goodness of God, you were born into this world. By the grace of God, you've been kept all the day long, even until this very hour. And by the love of God, fully revealed in the face of Jesus Christ, you and I are being redeemed.